Welcome to Grow Overload. I'm Anthony, and I'm going to review here the Corsair TB2, TBT200 um, Thunderbolt Floor Dock. It has been an impressive device. I, I do overall um, right off the bat, so you can kind of uh, jump around what you want to know about this thing. Uh, definitely, if this is something you're looking at, I don't have any other Thunderbolt 4 docks to compare it to, but I am quite impressed with this little dock itself. Um, you know, here's the box if you wanted to see kind of what it looked like on there. And here's all the ports. And if you want, pause it. You can um, get all that information that you care about there. And just to quick go over it, you have in the front here, you have your SD card reader, you have a 3.5 inch headphone jack, USB-A super speed 10 gigs, 7.5 watts, USB-C super speed 10 gigs, 15 watts, Thunderbolt 4, which is your upstream to your um, laptop or you know whatever it is, and then your connector. Oops, I should show you the right side as I go through it. So there is the right side, um, yeah. So you can kind of see that power there and everything. And then here's the back side of it. Um, sorry about that. And you can see here you have your power. You have three Thunderbolt, four, four ports, 40 gigs per second, uh, 2.5 gig Ethernet, two USB-A ports, 10 gigabits, 7.5 watts, and that Kensington lock there. And then you have rubber feet on the bottom, as you can see there, which work well and then you also have the top which is just like a brushed aluminum it comes with it comes with a display port cable and an hdmi cable to thunderbolt on each of them thunderbolt 4 and then it has a thunderbolt 4 cable as well um and this was like 300 dollars um overall if i recall in the price um around 300 and some dollars i'll post a link i bought it directly from corsair because they kind of had the best deal but uh yeah they you know this is one of those uh items that i was buying for work for my work computer um or working at home it's you know i paid for it and um you know overall it has worked way better than the dell dock i was using that was usb-c based right i have two 4k screens and working off my laptop so it's one cable two there two both 4k screens you know all my usb stuff is plugged into here um the one thing i wish that was a little bit better was that this would be flatter because on top of it i do set uh, my headphone or my jabra headset i should say so you know trying to take a little bit less desk room off of this but it is you know it has been way nicer to have on here you know it's a smaller form factor than the dell one way smaller the dell one was m much bigger and um, much taller had a bigger um a bigger power cable i believe too a bigger uh, brick so that's basically it right i'm going you know i'm not doing a lot of storage or a lot of data transfer with this so I don't really care because, you know, through work, I'm, it's a lot of, you know, VPNing into the office. So, you know, I'm using multiple monitors for that. So I have a bigger area to go through or to view. But, you know, so it gets plugged into gig and then, you know, my upload speed's what's really restricting me overall. So I don't need 2.5 gig for everything. But if this is something that you're using on a local network and you have like 2.5, 5, 10 gig, this is, you know, you have a huge benefit there as well. But, uh, you know, it, it's worked flawlessly so far. I have not had any issues. Um, I'm using it with a Windows laptop, so uh, a Dell Windows laptop, which seems to work just fine. I did try it with my framework uh, 12th gen laptop um, with the beta BIOS, and that worked fine um, with Thunderbolt on there. So I've been really impressed with that. I plugged it in. It worked great, unplugged it, plugged in the Dell. Everything has worked flawlessly so far. Um, I, I had one problem with my Dell laptop, but that was a laptop thing. That was not a dock thing. That It just was, it sometimes has trouble recognizing monitors 
even if you plug it in direct, I don't get it, but it's not, uh, it's not my laptop, it's a work laptop, so I'm not sitting there solving it. Um, I'm just getting it to work, and that's it, right? Ever since I got this to the dock and uh, rebooted after I plugged the dock in, for some reason it's been working fine, you know, going back and forth. So something with the laptop, not with the dock at all. But, uh, yeah, I, I, the, the only negative thing is I wish this thing was flatter so that when I set my... Jabra headset on top, it wouldn't rock back and forth. So it's been a great dock overall. And uh, well, I don't know what else to really say about this thing because if I had to buy it again, right, you for what is it, like 279 for the uh, Thunderbolt 3 dock versus uh, was it TBT 200 is three something, 300 and some dollars. And I would get this again because that's how you know nice it is. I know that I'll be getting a newer laptop here at some point, and maybe it can take more advantage of the Thunderbolt 4 stuff. Maybe I'm going to do more, you know, maybe connect a different monitor and anything else. But to have the extra bandwidth just in case, you know, I get a, you know another monitor or whatever else I do is you know convenient for whatever it was like thirty dollars difference or whatever I got it for. So. Um, you know, maybe I never use it, but it, they did a, do a good job of this. You know, it's it's fun to, you know, just for being the tech person I am, fun to test it out on my, you know, different, you know, laptop here, the Framework 13, uh, 12th gen. That's, you know, it's fun to test it out there. And, uh, yeah, I, I'd like to, you know, maybe, maybe test out more, but uh, it worked out well. And I, it's something that uh, I'm glad that I got considering that the old dock did not drive two monitors, 4K monitors, and the old dock kept uh, cutting out and having more and more issues. And um, this kind of solved all those pain points, which I'm pretty pleased with. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions with this. I know this is a pretty short review, but it's there's not much to say about this thing. This thing uh, did a great job. I mean, for what I bought it for, I, you know, this is what this is what I wanted. So, this it's working great. And uh, if you have questions, I'll try to answer them. The, with what I have here, if it's if it's a, some if it's another thing that you want me to try to connect to and I don't have it, well, I, I'm going to try to have somebody send it to me. Right? <laughs> I'll test it out. But um, I, I can do what with what I have here. But it's it's a it's an impressive dock. It's an impressive device. If you're looking for a Thunderbolt 4 dock, the TBT 200 is something really to consider. And uh, um, I know that there was uh, uh, I'm blanking on the name of the you know the Thunderbolt 4 dock was like 400 bucks, and it looked like to be the Thunderbolt 4 dock to get. But uh, I, I was I didn't want to go up that high, so this was in the price range I kind of wanted to spend, and that's why I chose it. So with that, let me know what questions you have. Um, and anything else with this doc that you like, you like some information on as well. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and continue supporting this channel. Hit that bell icon. I really do appreciate all the support you have for this channel that you guys have done. And until next time, God bless.